Hi, today I'm going to show you how to reset the purge counter on a Brother Inkjet printer that comes without a numerical pad. A full list of printers this method has been confirmed with can be found down below. The process shown here should be used to clear error 46 or the unable to clean error on a Brother Inkjet printer and it's worth noting that running through this will not actually empty the waste ink tank of your Brother printer but will simply clear the message and enable you to carry on printing. Before I get started, I'd like to make you aware of some variances in the button names which I'm going to speak of. For example, set could be listed as OK, mono start could just be referred to as mono or be a grey key, and stop could also be called exit or just be a little red key. The first step is to press the set or OK button, and then menu, and then mono start, and then press the up arrow key four times. These buttons should all be pressed in quick succession, and if you've done it correctly, you will now be presented with the word maintenance. With this done, use the up and down arrow keys to select the number 8, then press OK. Then select the number 0, and press OK again. Next, we need to get to the purge option of the maintenance menu. Depending upon the model of your printer, you will either have to access it by repeatedly pressing the mono button, or by using the up and down arrow keys. You should now have the word purge on your screen, followed by a series of numbers that indicate how much ink has been deposited in the waste ink tank. Use the up and down arrow keys and then the set button to select the numbers 2, 7, 8 and finally 3. The number after purge should now be reset to 0, so press the stop or exit key to go back to the maintenance mode menu. Then using the up and down arrow keys get to the number 9 and press OK and then find 9 again and press OK and this will exit you out of maintenance mode. The purge counter will now be reset, clearing the unable to clean or error 46 message, and your printer will function as normal. If, however, the same error message remains, I would recommend running through this process again from the beginning. If it persists, then please let us know the model of your printer in the comments below. Hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you next time.